Hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today we're going to be going over combos with Melina. And combos with all of her custom variation moves, so that you know how to combo no matter what you have equipped. So, starting off, I just have base Melina here. Um, so nothing fancy, no, nothing special equipped, but even so, she still has pretty good combos. So, her most damaging combo starter, without her extended strings, which is a ability I suggest you always have equipped, is going to be her 2-3-3. And this move is really amazing, because if I put Devora onto auto block. This move is safe, it can also be plus one block, but because it's so long, it's really easy to hit, hit confirm, and I dial it in, so I go, done. And the rest of that animation, I have time to hit confirm, and cancel into her ball roll, and go into full combos if I see that it hits, and she gets really big damage from it. So if I do something like this, these are, I think, some of her most optimal combos are from the down two. Oops. So you dash in, do down two and do the her forward uh, one, two, four afterwards. And it'll look something like this, and it'll be pretty good damage. Oh my god. <laughs> there you go, 333 is really good for one bar. That's certainly above average damage for a single bar of meter. And uh, yeah, but that's basically her basic combos that you sh she's going to be doing, just with no extra strings or anything. If you do find that combo a bit difficult, you can do maybe a jump two, and into the, the rest of the extension, and that makes it a bit easier. And that does get similar damage, just a little bit less. And you can also get a forward one, I mean a jump one, if you're also finding that just too difficult. But uh, you know, you're just getting less and less damage at that point. You can, if your timing is really on point, you can get two forward ones. There we go, 315, which is a bit more damage than you would get regularly. Um, it just looks, looks like a bit less because I didn't have a jump in, so yeah, 338. A little bit extra damage, but it does make it a lot harder to get, so I don't suggest doing that online unless you do manage to get it consistently. So yeah, those are her basic combos. If you do turn on, if, or <laughs> if you do get her crushing glow, so like from her down two crushing glow, um, her combos are going to be kind of similar. You can go into a forward one into the oops, and you're going to be using want to use her um, one four string because it uh, doesn't use that much gravity and it also doesn't scale much, so she can end her combos really easily that way. And like even just with the down two ender there, 413, that's a really decent combo for super simple. You can try and get in like some uh, like double forward one combos there, but. Uh, Usually I don't bother trying to overcomplicate them, because, you know, if you get a crushing blow, you want to make sure you cash out on damage and don't, you know, waste the opportunity to get... Damn it. <laughs> like you are if you're doing this, like, slightly difficult combo. It's kind of not worth it at all. Yeah, there we go. And that just gives you a little bit extra. And it's basically the same thing off of her forward two, three. Oops, if I don't mess it up, thank you very much. And down two is actually, oh, okay. <laughs> the down two is going to be her most damaging combo ender in most situations, because um, a lot of her strings don't connect very consistently off of her combo, so 140 damage is the most damage she's going to get. Like this string, you do a lot, 130, because like, you're not at an angle where you can reach the down two, so you end with something like that. But uh, if you can, just end with the down two, because it, it's a big chunk of damage. <laughs> and obviously she can combo into her... Fatal Bow pretty easily if you just do something like, or actually you can even do it off of the down two combos. Um, if you just go off of the forward one, and that does a pretty decent chunk of damage. Usually though I suggest not doing very long combos with Melina into a Fatal Blow though. You see, that does, what, 409 damage, but if you just did something like plain like, uh, oops. This does 425, so it does basically the same amount of damage, if not more, um, and it didn't cost me any meter, and it was very easy to do, and they also couldn't break away from that. So usually, yeah, just do like stand 3-4 into the Fatal Blow, or if you do Critic Crushing Blow, just do the same thing, and it'll be a really big chunk of damage. So if you do Crush it, um, Blow into this, uh, into forward 1, into 3-4, that does a ton of damage, I believe it's 520. I wasn't even mashing to get the damage boost, but yeah, 523 for such a simple combo and it didn't cost me any meter, that's pretty good stuff. So yeah, 
let's move into where we actually have custom moves equipped. And this first variation is actually my fairy, favorite variation, and it has uh, some of her best moves in it. Except for the low, um, the low side toss. A lot of people will use that, but I actually prefer the regular side toss. But um, in this variation, we have her extended combo strings called the playtime ability, her stabby scotch command grab, and her rolling thunder, which is the upward roll. So. With the extended strings, they're not really going to add to your combos. Wait, what am I talking about? Yes, they are going to add to your combos. I was just thinking about this one. This one won't add to your combos. It'll, it's just used as a mix-up tool. Like, because, you know, if they're blocking, it's actually a throw. They can duck it, but, you know, it's a good mix-up. Um, but her other strings you get from this are so great that I don't see why you would ever not use this ability. So, her forward 4-3, you can actually now combo off of, which is really amazing. So it just adds more damage to our combos and makes them easier to hit confirm. And because it has that overhead in in the string, it, you know you can have some mix-ups if you've got the low side toss. And it also you can make it a lot more safer now because um, usually that string is unsafe, and like now it's minus eight. Or you can do amplified side toss and make it very safe. And becomes minus nine sometimes. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's a really good move. And because she also gets this, she can amplify it and leaves her at plus 20 restand, which you, you can use to end a lot of combos, like even after a jump kick. Or just a simple combo like this. Oops, sorry. Oops, I was a little bit slow. You can end her combos and still get a pretty decent chunk of damage and be left at plus 20, so you can go in for a lot of her mix-ups. So, it's pretty powerful for her to have a restand like that. And it's also her most damaging string now. So if you want to end combos in that, you can, just for an easy chunk of damage. And she also gets this string, which is a, a high damaging combo ender. And it's actually going to be used after you're down two crushing blow combo that I use a lot. That is pretty consistent. Oh, we're going to turn off for crushing, um, crushing blows now. I'll just make Devora um, dash up and grab. So after you're down two crushing blow, the combo that I like to do is this. And that's 423, because this string actually does do a lot of damage. And you can get similar combos off of off of the actual string itself, off of its crushing blow. Oops. But you actually just have to do a down two there because um the the string doesn't connect. Let me stop Devora doing that. So yeah, these strings are basically good just get, for getting restands and they add some damage to your combos. And the Ford 43 is just amazing because it you know adds an extra hit to the string, and, or actually it adds extra like two things you can do from it. So it's really good. And you know obviously you have to mix up from this, but that's not really going to be used in combos. Um, yeah. So the other move that I've got equipped, you've seen me using in the combos, is Rolling Thunder. It doesn't extend your combos per se, but it does add a little bit extra damage because the regular ball roll does 50 damage, I believe, and if you do the Rolling Thunder version, it does 70. And when you have Rolling Thunder equipped, if you hold down 4, it actually just does let you do the regular ball roll, so it's not like you're replacing it or anything, so that's really good. You have the option of doing the extra damage one as well as the regular one. But the only downside about the um, extra damage one... Oops, I thought I turned those off. Oh, oops. Um, the only downside is that can be a bit harder to do combos because it actually does um, like use up some gravity from your combos. So unless you're doing like simple combos off of like down two crushing blows just for like big chunky damage, um, you're not often going to be doing it. But as we saw in this combo, it's okay to do it because you're just going to be doing one string off of it, and you know it's pretty really easy to get it that way. <laughs> yep. What am I doing? <laughs> Yeah, so it can add some extra damage to your combos. It also makes the ball roll a bit safer, so that's pretty good. And you know, it, you just have the option of doing a bit of extra damage depending on what, where you wanted to do it in a combo. And you can also use it then to end some combos, because if you just do use that as an ender, that becomes your most damaging ender. So if you want to do something simple, or if I do something like this, and like I find other Molina combos a bit hard to do consistently, I can do that, and that does like a lot more damage than like even some of the regular combos you'd be doing, like um, like with the jump attack. It does more damage than doing that, so if you find her combos a bit hard to do, like the high damaging ones, you can just equip this and it makes you have a lot more damage for a lot easier combos. 
Um, I don't believe it makes... Yeah, so it's not going to add extra damage off of that, but, you know, it's still a good move for adding. And it also lets you do the bull, bull roll from full screen if you hold it down, which is something she couldn't do before. Not that it allows you to do more combos, but, you know, gives her more opportunity. Because usually her bull roll would end about there, and she can't do it, but, you know, now she can combo from full screen, which is pretty cool. And the last move is her Stabby Scotch Command Grab, which isn't going to really be used in combos too much, unless you want to keep the opponent close to you. Um because it does leave them a lot closer than the regular ender that you use as um, the, this string leaves them pretty far away. Um, oops, I kind of messed up the combo there. It can be a little bit hard because, because the command grab input is kind of awkward. I'll just do a simple combo, yeah, instead of the dampy one. So that leaves you very close, you know, you can go in for your mix-ups more consistently and stuff. And, you know, if you want to play Rushdown Melina, you want to end your combos in this more often. Rather than having them pushed away by the forward one and two four. And you can amplify it for a little bit extra damage if you want. But, you know, it's really good for keeping yourself in close rather than going away. And it is also her armor break, so if I put Devora onto Breakaway... And, yep, I'll give myself... Oh, I don't need Easy Crushing Glow. Oh yeah, wait. Do, 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 do. So you get, you know, it's a pretty good armor break move because it's pretty fast. So you can dash up and do it pretty easy. And at least to a good chunk of damage if it breaks their armor. 400, 471%. Oh, that's a lot of damage. 47% just for their armor break. You can get some good guaranteed damage. And a lot of people do like to um, break away from her ball roll, like before she gets to amplify it. So like after this version. People break away there, like, because, you know, you amplify and then you don't actually get a combo at all. So a lot of people break away before you even get the chance to amplify and do it after the amplify. But with this, you can, am can actually break their armor um, after the the uh, non-amplified ball roll, which is pretty crazy. So if you do something like this, it can be a little bit hard to time. There we go. And that's going to be a big chunk of damage just because you read that they were going to break away. And, you know, they want to ruin your combos, you get to do a big damage to them. And that's basically the only uses of the uh, Stabby Scotch. You can use it as combo ender to keep them close, and, you know, also to just break their armor in your combos if you think they're going to break away. So, moving on to the next variation. Um, I don't think there's anything in this variation that's going to lead to combos too much. There's a low side toss, which is more about, you know, mix-ups and zoning and anti-zoning and stuff. And it can also even be used to keep yourself a bit safe. Like, you know, minus 13 with decent pushback, that can be kind of safe. And if you do it off of, like, a down 4, it's, like, basically completely safe. Minus 9 with all this pushback, basically safe. But you're not going to really be using it in combos. You're just going to, like, mix your opponent up with it. I guess it counts as a combo, like, if you go under a high projectile and you count, like, punish them for using the projectile, you get a, a fresh and glow for it. So, yeah, it's not really a combo tool. Your slice slide, it... Um, despite being a kind of bad move, it does get a crushing blow if you, um, on the Amplify, if it's a counter hit or punish. You can go in for a roll then, and get a combo going that way. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I'll just do something like this. So you can get a combo, like, that does pretty decent damage, to be honest. Wow, that's a lot. Just for like hitting this like thing which, which can go completely full screen. And you can also hit like projectiles off of it if you want to just like stay back. But uh, yeah, that can be a good combo tool if you hit it on counter hit or punish, but otherwise it's not going to be leading to combos or anything. It's mainly just used to keep yourself safe. <laughs> um, and finally she has the vanish, and that's not really a combo tool, but you can use it after your combos because the input is kind of weird, it's up down. But um... In the recovery of some of your strings, it's easier to activate it. So like after you're down one or something, you can activate it in the recovery frames. Or you can you know, cancel it, cancel into it, like after this. And then go into stuff. You can do stuff that way. It can be useful, but yeah. It's not really a combo tool either, so we'll just keep moving on. And even in this third variation, I don't think she has that many... Uh, combo tools. The one combo tool 
Well, actually, she has a lot less. She has a lot more limited combo combos thanks to having the Condom Dash equipped because that replaces her ball roll, and it also doesn't really do that much damage. So it's kind of not that great of a move. But um, at least her air size, her amp she can amplify them, and she falls to the ground a bit faster, kind of like Katana's amplified um, Pantos. Oh my God, what? And you can get a combo going that way for a little bit of decent damage. You can get in two forward ones there if you want, if your timing's it's a bit tighter, but you know, you can get some decent damage that way. But it's not really that useful, like you can maybe get a bit more in the corner, but there's not many situations where you'll be getting that. Maybe if you have the bull roll equipped and this, and you do like your jump attack into this, there could be some interesting stuff there. Actually, wait, do they connect? Do they combo like if they... No, okay. So maybe after you, you do a bull roll, and then you do like a jump kick into that, and then you can... Yeah, so like, just imagine in your head, so we do a bore roll, double amplify it, and then or just amplify it, and then do a jump jump kick or a jump punch into the amplified air size, and then dash up and do this. That could be some, a kind of cool combo for 2 meter. It probably wouldn't be too great damage, but you know, it's cool to have different extensions. But uh, yeah, it's a decent combo tool, you know, especially in the corner where you're a bit closer. But you're not going to be getting too many like fancy combos off of it other than, yeah, like your forward one, two, four. <laughs> Um, her... wait, what else? Her air teledrop is kind of similar. She just gets a move from the air that she can cancel after a, a jump kick. So maybe you could do it after her bull roll for a little bit extra damage. Because that does make it her, um, most damaging combo ender that way. 190. But it does cost you a bar of meter to make it, like, worthwhile. And, you know, it's not really adding that much... Like, that much damage to the combo, and I don't th think it's really worth like spend it using as one of your custom abilities, like it's not really worth the slot. And to Condom Dash, like do we have to really talk about it? It's kind of painful. Like I guess you can combo into it, but like <laughs> the damage is pretty pathetic. <laughs> you can give that much damage like from a string. <laughs> like this moves it's not that great. But anyways, that's basically all of Melina's combos unfortunately. I know she's quite a combo character, but she only really has combos like in one way, she doesn't. Her custom moves don't really give her any new fancy combos other than her extended combo strings, and that's why I will always use this custom move when I play with Melina because it's just it's just the best. It's just the only amazing move that she has. That I would always run because it makes her like easy to hit confirm into stuff. It, it gives her more strings, gives her restands, like a plus twenty restand as well. So this is like that's the only thing that really makes her combos like a lot better. But, uh, yeah, anyways, this might have been a shorter video than the other characters, just because she's a little more limited with her combos. But, nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you learned something. I hope you know how to combo with all of her tools now. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!